So I was scrolling on eBay the other day and I came across a foam laser cut kit that somebody had printed on their laser printer or laser cutter, whatever you want to call it, and I was selling it. So it was $18.99 and I was the only bidder. So it comes in a pile of foam and a few sticks and control horns and well that's what you get for your 20 bucks basically now we're gonna see if it was worth it so I'm glad you're here follow along all right can you guess what airplane it is it's a uh, yak 55 I believe so this is all the pieces I think I have a pretty good idea how it goes together uh, it's got these wing stiffeners I think they both go on the bottom of the wing but I will look at the, the uh, eBay post again because that's the only pictures there are of this they don't even send you a picture of it being built so I'm gonna look that post up and I'll show you guys a picture of it too and We'll get started on trying to build this thing. All right, well the sticks here for the spar just kind of slide, slide in. This is the joiner spar. And then these are the, the wing spar. So I'm going to go ahead and white glue those in. I just tested hot glue on this foam and it appears that I'll, I can hot glue some of it. But I think I'm going to use white glue on most of it. So I don't have any foam safe CA. and It'll take almost a week to get delivered where I live. So I think I'm going to put the spars in with some white glue. Alright, well I got the wing panels put together, uh, spar in the elevator, those are ailerons, other parts laying around drying, I went ahead and coated them with the Minwax, I sprayed regular spray paint on this and then this foam doesn't like spray paint, so I'm sealing the foam and then I will spray paint it, so it just can't have it solid white. Leading edge seems pretty thick, but that's the way it goes together. But other than that, you see where the spar will slide in. It'll all lock together and glue. But that's done. Now I gotta coat it and then get to the paint and then putting it together. I don't know about you, but that wing looks really thick and really heavy. I mean, even with the ailerons on there, I imagine it's going to need a lot of power to fly. It's going to be a really heavy foamy. Starting to have my doubts. Now that the ailerons are on it, it's a little bigger but I just can't get over the, the leading edge this thing comes with is pretty pretty blunt I don't really want to shave it I don't know if that's what they want you to do or or what but I don't know I guess we'll figure it out well, that's the wing all right, well, we're moving right along on the 1899 eBay find. I got the control horns in. I'm using everything that came with this kit. And this is what came with it. These have a tendency to break if you try to drill them out too big. So be very careful. If you do buy something like this and it comes with those little plywood control horns, be careful when you drill them out.
once again I I wouldn't try to paint it painting these doesn't work very great on this kind of foam even with them in wax seal it just comes right off if you put tape or anything on it uh, it doesn't hurt the foam though when you seal it with the minwax maybe I should have used a primer first I don't know but it's coming along getting it put together and it's starting to look like an airplane you know for $18.99 I got my first 9 gram servo in here I gotta hook the ailerons up and put the A2212 2200 in the front of it and steal a receiver from one of the other airplanes. Just when I was adjusting it, snap, I was even holding it with pliers to adjust the clevis on here. Twisted it right off. The other one's done. It looked just like, yeah. I'm pissed off. So yeah, be careful not to do that. Just like I warned about and still did it. It's too hot to turn off the air conditioner this time. So I cut it off. And it still works just as good. So I think we're okay. Well, it's coming along. Gotta hook up the rudder, install the motor. I decided to put a landing gear on it. Where I fly, there's no grass, so it would get beat up if there wasn't one. So, get all that done and put the radio gear on it and go fly it. See if this $20 special from eBay was worth my $20. Well, eighteen ninety nine, but you know, tax, shipping. Looks decent. Hopefully, it flies. All right. Well, I'm just working on the gear. I came up with this little design here. Hopefully, it puts up with the stress of being. Landing gear, I think it'll hold up just fine. But all the control surfaces are hooked up and ready to go. Let's finish up the tires, the nuts, and the motor. And that'll be it. Alright, well this is what's always fun about these profile planes, is fitting all the radio gear and battery on the airplane. Now I'm going to put a plate on the bottom where the battery sits so it has something to rest on and then I'll have a way to strap this but it's snug now like really snug but you want it attached attached and I've never done it this way but that seemed to be the easiest way to do it and I'll just run the power cord over and I'll plug in right there and I'll I'll figure that part out, but not a lot of room to do much. But I think it's good to go. Only one way to find out, right? Just gotta glue my tail wheel on. So I hot glue all my wheels on with nuts. Well, the big wheels with nuts, the tail wheels just hot glue on the wire. It works great. I have never lost a wheel. You don't need to buy those expensive wheel collars. Hot glue works just fine. And the control throws are just crazy. It's got lots of throw on everything, so... I think it's going to be a decent little plane.